the Huawei E5186S-22A router. I ordered this router used from Latvia. You can see the LMT Telecom logo. Picked it up for about 70 euros on eBay. The reason I got it, an incredibly stupid Windows update, the last major update, changed the way that USB modems are handled within Windows, at least within Windows 10, which would no longer allow me to properly set up my USB 4G modem to work on my network. It was that, and I had also been thinking about getting a device that could use the full breadth of my 300 megabit LTE connection data plan. And on top of that, the idea of having a dedicated device for my internet connection was a lot more appealing. Simple, probably less hassle. Now for this, I did not order it from China because you can get them cheap from sites like AliExpress. Now the reason for that is because the Chinese variants do not have the European low band compatibility. They do have the high band, just not the low band. And this might not mean much if you're using it in the city, you might not even tell the difference. But it's definitely nice to have, especially if you end up anywhere outside the city, where having that low band 4G LTE connection will keep you connected at high speeds. But does it work? Yes. I get about twice the speed I had with my 150 megabit modem. I'm getting about 100 megabits per second versus the old 50 megabits per second. Do I use a lot of data? Yeah, tons of it. Uh, often about a terabyte a month. Seeing as combined with all this video footage that I've been making, along with all the media that we consume, yeah, we're keeping those mobile data stats high. The connection could likely be better. The tower I connect to is on the other side of my building, about a block away. That means there's no line of sight and there's plenty of concrete walls to go through. But you know what? It still works despite that. Antenna hookups under a cover if you decide you want to install an external antenna if you want to get a better signal. It, it might be something I look at maybe down the road. I imagine you can get a lot better speed, especially if you use a directional antenna. Ping times are very low and, and it works great for gaming. Now, now for the problems. And yes, it does have one major issue. The switch. It's unusable for local area network usage. You try to transfer a large file between PCs and it doesn't take too long before the modem crashes and your entire network slows to a halt. Imagine there has to be some bug in there that has yet to be fixed and it's just unusable as a switch. The fix to this or the workaround to this is to have a separate switch. Is it ideal? No. But as long as you're using a separate switch, it will work fine perfectly for days, weeks, months on end. Use a separate switch for all your local data transfers and access the web via the modem. It works fine this way, but that is a major issue. And I'm, and of course I'm running the latest firmware and it has not been fixed as of March 2018. And as for the Wi-Fi, yeah, it works. Works fine. Uh, we use it on our tablets or phones. I have yet to put it to a real test. It is 802.11ac, which of course is apparently capable of 1.2 gigabit speeds under ideal situations. Now what can it actually reach? I don't know. I don't do large transfers over Wi-Fi over the internal network. What I can say is that I do get my full internet speed through Wi-Fi, so it's not a bottleneck to the internet speeds, that's for sure. But with that, it works. I'm satisfied. That's my very quick review of the E5186S-22A. Do I think it's fine? Yeah. Just, just be aware of that switch issue. If you do need a switch, just buy a cheap, dedicated switch to hook it up alongside this. Otherwise, it's a nice device that works very well. I've been running it for about four or five months now. No other issues. I do hope you enjoyed that review. Of course, if you did like that review, hit that like button. If you want to leave a comment, if you want to say something, comment. If you didn't like the video, it's not going to harm you. Of course, as always, no matter where you are in this world, remember to have a good day, a good night, and a good morning.